Yo, what's up everyone? Joey J. Fing here, checking in live, respectmyregion.com. Coming to you guys live from the Respect My Region booth here at the Flower Expo 2024 June edition. We're in Greenfield, Massachusetts. We're in a barn. We're on a horse track. But even with all that going on, we still got a legend in the building, Buzz Goods, Director of Retail, Hennessy. How you doing today, Hennessy? I'm doing great. Honestly, I'm with my people. We're smoking that great Mary Jane. Hey. Life could not be better. So I appreciate you joining us here today. Shout out to Reeve for bringing us together. Absolutely. And uh, and also this event in general, right? It's been a solid week. Have you been enjoying yourself? Uh, yes. I came last year, so it's really great to see how much has expanded and boomed this year. Double the vendors, a lot more vibes and energy, a lot more after things to go yeah. through networking. So it's really like neck level. What, uh, what, what Adam, Bud's Goods, you guys are highly respected across Mass. People from out of state know who you guys are. And what do you guys do? What are you known for? Uh, we're known for our branding, obviously, our retail. So we do have our own private label line. And we kind of do it as like a good, better fest. So we have your everyday flower, which is like, you know, for everyday consumer at a fair price, you have your finest. And then we have our popcorn line. It's like our little buzz and we have free roll line. So it really is if something for everybody, but it's that everyday Boston, Massachusetts consumer. So our three retails are around the state where the biggest kind of hype is going. So you have Worcester, Watertown in the Boston area. And then we have in the South Shore, Abington. So we kind of got that. Bermuda Triangle of the state hey, and corn is No there. buds, goods, Bermuda Triangle of retail. And you said private lines of products, right? So you sell those products to other retail as well? Yes, yeah. So it's our own line that we sell. Um, we also do have a packaging and production facility in Lakeville. We do white label our own, um, but we also do that for other companies known around Mass. So That's awesome. We love to do a services side too. So it's whatever people need and you want to offer that with that. So I don't like to assume things, but you seem like someone who might smoke because I know who you're friends with. Yes. Is that there? <laughs> Dabber? smoker uh, all of the above all the things all of the above i, I love edibles it. i love dabbing i make my bubble hatch so so since you guys make your own products and you guys sell others as well right in your store and you are the director of retail safe to assume you've tried a lot of things oh almost everything on our shelf i've tried so i've been looking for the best weed in mass like flower flower was the all the things I'm, I'm gonna come okay, somewhere from each little category yeah hit me with hit me with what your favorites are this because I, what i'm looking for this is a curation of who has money to pay for an event yeah you yeah. can try to make moves and to do that that's not representative of all of the industry for massachusetts and so i'm getting a small section or a small segment of like of your of uh of what your state stands with right so i want to know what you think is good we want to be able to fly in go to your store and be like all right i'm grabbing this 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 and this absolutely uh for flower my top three is gonna be tower three yep uh harbor house Okay. Uh, I love Impressed as well. They usually have all fire buds, great here, great nug structure, um, but they also have unique genetics between them all. So if you want more of an uplifting Fuli Sativa or you want that knocked out indigo or a really chill hybrid that's got you that really long lasting high, yeah. um, all those cultivators usually fit and they have X something for everybody. They're very really neck and neck, I think, for quality. I heard those names, those three names, the most consistent. When asking some of the people that I know as well. So that's awesome. What would you say about in the concentrates world? Spare concentrates, um, Harbor House, uh, Suncrafted. Um, they're a little new to the game, but they have some of the best rosin, Bubble Hats. Um, so I love Suncrafted, Harbor House. Bountiful Farms is another favorite of Mopar. Okay. Okay. Um, so those ones I frequent a lot too. Uh, but yeah, those would be my top three for concentrates. I'm a huge rosin girl, so it's only going to be solvent list that I recommend. That's super cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been trying a little bit of the uh, the live resin situation, and mo there's a lot of batters and butters I've noticed. Yeah. But I like to whip it. Did you try Super Plux yet? I have tried it before, but I didn't try it on this trip. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they had a dab bar last night. I recommend them for their live resin line. We sell it in our stores, so okay. if I don't have rosin, that's like my go-to resin. Yeah, naturally. Give so us some good terpiness, right? Exactly, yeah. And it always hits, like, the terps get to you, and I love those dabs that really get you that full sweat. Then you gotta actually sit there and, like, breathe in after. You never, like, really gotta go from, like, Absolutely. <laughs> So now I, I'm well aware of the Betty Zetty's success, and I would also like to show love to them and Coast. Yes, so those are one of our favorite brands. Both of those brands are familiar, and, and we're big fans of that. I personally like to eat them both. Uh, what would you say outside of those two brands would be really other solid edibles recommendations for people? I think it will, uh, that's a subby. Um, so I do love the Encore RSO gummies. Those always hit. Uh, what's good? Like I said, I love my full spectrum hit with that. So. Anything that's a live rosin gummy, Suncrafted does a good one. Bountiful is live rosin edibles. They're chocolates to so their gummies. They do like hot chocolate in the winter. That's infused powder. That's awesome. Some of the best. Um, so I like it because they have every type of edible brand. So, um, but anything that's really full spectrum, I don't prefer the distillate ones. Um, but I will say like Camino is pretty good. 
Wild's really good for distal and candy. Good candy. Yes, exactly. If it's, it's gonna be, yeah. if it's gonna, you know, the food first. I always say. Yeah. It's gotta yeah. taste good. I can't have something that's gonna make my stomach upset or just taste right up, taste gross. A lot of stuff that's full spec does taste gross. Yes, it does. I've tasted I'm a lot of stuff. Taste that RSO in there. So yeah, I'm fair. sorry. That- I'd rather have RSO by itself than eat a gummy that tastes gross with RSO. Right. Is that fair? Yeah, because especially you want something sweet. So it's like it kind of ruined the sweetness for you. I'd rather yeah. give me the earthiness. Yeah. If I'm gonna have to, if I'm gonna have to eat rabbit food, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to necessarily need to dress stuff. Yeah. You, you don't know what want I mean? The ranch on it. The, wow. <laughs> I would eat, I would say that some of these gummy concoctions might be ranch, not a, a legitimate ranch flavor. Yeah. But like, if it's gonna be dressed up, I'll take the ranch success <laughs> yeah. of like maybe like a blackberry gummy. Yeah. Or some of these other ones that I tried out here that are pretty good. But some of them are really off, are so that it's so earthy and terpene driven because it's whole plant. Yeah. Really hard to mask that. And I don't think it's been yeah. done perfectly well. Yeah, At least not here. Um, okay, so. Tell me, um, how long have you been in cannabis? Let's switch it to you. How long have you been in cannabis? What, do you, what have you been doing? Yeah, I've been in the industry for 10 years this year. Oh, wow. I've been in the Rhode Island market in 2014 when they were moly medical, uh, but I've been in the mass market industry for three and a half years. So it's just how long I've been with Buds. Okay, wow. Uh, so I've floated around. I've done everything between buying, inventory, retail management, um, executive assisting, bud tending, you name it. So I have a really good understanding from the medical and the rec markets of how each kind of New England market operates and the changes. And it's interesting to see which state kind of races to the finish line for this area and who's better at this type of product yes. and stuff. So it's really interesting because being a tight knit unit of New England, you'd think we'd all be the same and we're all vastly different. Yeah, of course. Well, there's different rules and laws in each of these states. So they can't, if they're not licensed here and here and here and here and here, la, 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 la. it's like you really can't even necessarily do it that easily, right? It is. Yeah. And it's funny too, like reciprocity for medical. You, you can't go to Massachusetts medical if you live in Rhode Island. They don't allow that. But Rhode Island allows you if you're in Massachusetts to go to medical there. So it's uh, it's like silly little things like that that make no sense. Oh my gosh. Well, that's super interesting. I really appreciate you sharing your perspective. You guys, today's journey is powered by trees and our friends and bought a bloom. We're here at the live of the 2024 Flower Expo. I've got my new friend Hennessy here. Make sure you guys tap in and visit the three locations for Bud's Goods. I don't know the names of the city, so go ahead and say it. So we have Worcester, Abington, and Watertown. So we serve all over Mass. Google search it, leave a review after you visit, and make sure you guys, when you get there, go ask it and show love to the team. NSC is the leader over there. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks. Thanks.